Hi, my name is Sharon Clampett, and I'm a professor at Inter-American University of Puerto Rico's Ponce campus. I've been trying to create a few videos to help those of you who have suddenly kind of been forced into online teaching um, by helping you manage one of the tools that's available, which is Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Now, I've already created a video on the basics of Ultra, as well as how to share content and a little bit of another video about uh, group work within Collaborate, how to do different different strategies for doing work, uh, group work. In that video, I mention the breakout groups. Now, in this video, uh, what I want to do is answer some of the questions that people have been asking me about how to share files within the breakout groups. So that's what we're going to try and do today. Let's get started. So I've, what, I've already uploaded files uh, into this room. So if you don't know how to do that, you'll need to go back to the video on sharing content. So I did share files, and you'll see I have one file which I'm sharing right now on the screen, which is the presentation that I would use uh, to get the class going, started before I send them over to the breakout rooms. I also have these four files which I do want to share with them in the group, uh, in the breakout rooms. Now, the first thing I'll need to do is make sure that I have those breakout rooms um, active. So I'm going to go out of the share content thing, go into the breakout rooms. I have two groups. It, it creates two groups by default. But I'm going to actually add one more group. So I have group one, group two, and group three. And you can change the names of those groups to something more fun or more interesting than simply group one, group two, and group three. Now, I have to make sure that I start them. And it's starting the breakout rooms. I will still be in the main room, and the students will too until we move them over. So now I'm going to go back to um, to the share files section, share uh, content. And so now I'm I let's just say I've gone through my class and talked about Grice's cooperative principle and the maxim of of conversation. Okay, and now it's time for them to go into their group. Now I have these files that I want to share with them. This first file, I want to share it with all of the groups. All three groups are going to get that file. It's like a, an info, it gives the instructions of what they're supposed to do and also gives them some of the, the content of what's the maximum quantity, quality, and all that stuff so they don't, so they can refer to it as they do their analysis. So I'm going to, Click on the three little dots that's right next to the title of the file. And I'm going to, whoops, I'm going back over here to this one. Share with groups. And I have the option to share with all the groups. So that file is going to go into all, all three groups. And I share now. Okay. Now, the other files, each group is going to have a different activity. So I have prepared one file for each group. And I will go there. I'll share with group. But this time, I'm only going to mark one of the groups. And I'm going to do the same for the other two. Okay. And here's the third one. Share with group. And that's for group three. Share now. Okie doke. So now I'm going to go out and I'm going to go back into the great breakout area. Now I'm going to move myself from the main room. We're still all in the main room. My students are, are in the main room and we'd have to move them over to their groups, but their rooms are ready. So now I'm going to go into group one and I have to update. Okay. So I'm moving to group one. And you'll notice there is a file there, and they can manage it right away. And that's the scenario they want to analyze. Now, they need the instructions. And so what I found is that whatever file that you uh, set up or upload last, that's the one that shows up when they go in. So you, I probably should have done the share with all groups file the instructions before I did this one. But 
they will need to go to the share content share files and look for that file that i uploaded for them which is right here and i share that now and it's a small file so i might have to teach them how to make it bigger to zoom in um, but anyways they all have this file i don't know why it's not zooming but anyways or maybe i can do it this way yeah there you go so they can look at it and when they go back to the other file they have to go down here double click it or they can share now and they can go back to their scenario and look at that 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 was group one that's group one scenario so let's go see what happened in the other groups and i'm gonna go back out okay and go back out to the breakout groups now i'm going to move myself to group two update out of group one moving to group two now group two has a different scenario this one is the phone call and group three has a different one so you can see but they do uh, have to be able to go back and check and they do also have this scratching checklist that i shared with all three groups now let me just get out of here and let me go back to the great brown and i'm going to stop the breakout groups right now and go back to the main room okay and i'm back to the main room and i've got my my presentation here right okay so the answer to your questions is that yes you can share different files or different uh, presentations in each breakout room and you can also share the uh, a file with all the breakout rooms. I, I could have actually taken this presentation, which has the content and the different scenarios, and shared it with all the groups, and then just told them verbally, group one, you're going to do scenario uh, with, the, with the dog and uh, with man's best friend. Group two, you're going to do the phone call. And group three, you're going to do the question and that probably would have been a little bit easier um, and you could have given them an explanation of what they were supposed to do before you sent them to their rooms but just so you know they do have the option of uh, share you do have the option of sharing multiple files with them and they will be able to switch between files and share files in the breakout rooms you do have to instruct them how to do that they have to learn how to share files and use that share filing, share, uh, share file uh, tool in order to do that. So I hope I've asked your, uh, answered your questions and I hope you have fun working with your students in Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Bye.